Greetings, peace be with you. In this video, I'm going to be diving into five things that every man needs to stop doing by the age of 21. And really the earlier the better, right? I've seen a bunch of people on this YouTube channel as well. A bunch of you guys are like pretty young. I think even below 18, some of you, I've seen the demographics and you guys are aware, you guys are conscious, you guys are waking up. But for me, it's like 21 was the time I graduated from university and university was just an escape, but it was also the first time I lived without my parents and it was like the first time I had like this awakening of my own individual expression rather than being on the assembly line of life doing what I'm told the whole time, right? So that's why I use the age 21, but honestly, the earlier, the better, okay? And number five on this list is the most insidious one, okay? So make sure to stick to the very end of this video. Now, the first thing that every man should stop doing by the age of 21 is being reactive, okay? This is kind of like the difference between a thermometer and a thermostat, right? You put a thermometer into a pool, you put it into the environment and it tells you the temperature in the environment. With a thermostat, you set the temperature on the thermostat and it dictates the temperature of the environment, right? If you're reactive, you are the thermometer. You are reacting to external situations, external stimulus, external opinions, external obligations, right? But when you are the thermostat, you dictate the environment, right? Are you a product of your environment or are, is the environment a product of you? And when the product is consciously created as a product of you, then it will begin to mold you into a product that is the most optimal expression of who you are at the end of the day, as long as that environment is created consciously, right? Now, the difference between reactive and proactive between a thermometer and a thermostat is that are you choosing your most empowered response in every single moment, right? For example, are you waking up in the morning and checking your phone and reacting to external agendas, reacting to notifications, reacting to emails, reacting to social media, right? Reacting to what other people are vying for your attention, right? Or are you choosing the way that you want to show up, right? Because that's conditioning, okay? Because that is the dopamine in your brain, the reward system that's asking you to look for that dopamine spike the second that you wake up and you are literally giving away your freedom in the morning to this device, to external agenda, right? But if you can choose the way you wanna show up as your most empowered self every single morning, do you think that looking at your phone is gonna be part of that routine, okay? If it is, then great, man. I'm not gonna judge you for that. But if it isn't, but you're still doing it, then there's a time to get an awareness and there's a time to make that adjustment in your behavior, right? For example, are you gonna go out for a walk? For example, are you gonna sit in silence and listen to your breath? Are you going to choose what you wanna do rather than react based on conditioning, right? You are either the conscious creator, right? You are consciously choosing the way that you are responding, right? For example, someone cuts you off in traffic, you can lose your shit and get road rage, or you can feel the emotion spike up take a deep breath and choose the way that you want to show up. You don't want to be a victim of this person. Right? This person did what he's going to do, right? But the way that you respond to that is a choice. And when you stop being reactive is when you begin choosing the way that you want to show up in your life rather than reacting to the way that you have been conditioned to react, right? And that's really the most, like, so important. And this is the daily, it's again, this is like everything that I talk about is like a daily practice. Like I talk about it, like maybe I haven't figured it out, but it's a daily practice. And at some point, at any point where I think I figured it out is the point where a reminder comes in, letting me know that there's work to be done right now, right? Now, the second thing that every man should be stopped doing by age 21. And like I said, honestly, the earlier, the better is to stop busting nuts, right? I made so many videos on this but semen is a source of your life force, right? It is a source of your creative energy. It is a source that allows you to create the life that you're here to create. And like I said, you are either a creator who chooses the way that they're showing up in this life, or you are a victim who complains, who blames, who makes excuses, who has stories about why you aren't where you wanna be, right? And if that is you, if you are currently a victim, if you blame the government, if you blame your parents, if you blame the school system, if you blame anything other than yourself, right? Then you are literally giving your power away to forces outside of you. You are giving up the control that you have in your own hands to steer the ship off your life 
towards where you want to go okay so really that's what it comes down to at the end of the day because if you are busting your nuts then i recommend you check out this playlist over here i'll link out to it go through it okay it's going to give you a bunch of different i made so many videos on this i'm going to continue making them because it is just that important but stop busting nuts okay it's not doing you any good it's not doing anyone any good unless of course you're having a bunch of kids that's great but if that same energy is being flushed down the toilet the energy that is used to create a kid is being flushed in the toilet or flushed on or ejaculated on the tissue paper then please don't do it okay and if you do want to do it then continue doing it but just do it with the awareness knowing that you are stripping yourself of your own power all right at the end of the day now the third thing that every man should stop doing by the age of 21 is escaping what is right this is something i did for a long time escaping what is oh i feel uncomfortable right now i feel antsy right now i feel anxious let me just go eat something oh i feel better now oh i feel good now or oh, let me just grab that sugar right now. Let me just grab that brownie right now. Let me just munch on some dry fruit right now. Let me just go and drink some alcohol right now. Let me just go and have a beer right now. Why? Why do you want to have this beer? I don't know. I, have a, I don't know. I, right? It's like, why do I do things that are impulsive, like looking for food or reaching for the drink? Or I used to, I haven't drank in a long time. But it's like escaping the way that I felt before it by masking the symptoms, right? By masking how I felt before, by escaping with this booze, with this TV, with this pornography, right? With this, anything that takes you away from the present moment, with the scrolling, right? With anything that, again, makes you miss out on right here, right now, of ruminating about the past, about anything that distracts you from what's important, right? In life, we are either on the track, right? We are either, in traction we are in momentum towards where we strive to go we are on path on purpose or we are distracted right by anything that is not keeping us on our track right so really this most important thing is to get an awareness right like any time that i feel uncomfortable any time that i feel like i need to go reach for something to eat or something like that it's like coming back to the breath okay the breath is your anchor the breath is what grounds you and you can begin to look at your emotions you can begin to look at your thoughts you can be begin to just look at yourself through a more objective and rational lens rather than at the effect of these emotions i don't know if you can hear this dog crying in the background but he's crying from his emotions right that's a dog he doesn't know how to deal with his emotions but when you begin to become rational once you begin to objectively look at how you feel and what you think and where you are and what is the most optimal path for you ahead right anchor yourself to the breath anchor yourself to the grounding that is when you begin to actually choose your most empowered response that is when you begin to create the life you're here to create that is when you begin to see and love what is rather than escape what is right everything is happening how it's supposed to and the more that we resist it the more that we miss out on right here, right now, which at the end of the day is the only thing that is real, all right? Now, the fourth thing that every man should do stop doing by the age of 21 is to stop watching TV, television, programming, okay? Because at the end of the day, it comes down to what you value, right? I know a lot of people who say that they don't have time to read books, but they have the time to watch freaking like five hours of TV every single day, right? So it's not ever about the time since we all have the same 24 hours in a day. It is about what you prioritize, right? Do you prioritize entertainment or do you prioritize education, right? That's a choice that we make, not with our minds, but through our behaviors, right? At the end of the day, if you're watching TV, think about why you're watching TV. Are you escaping reality, right? Or are you truly gaining entertainment from a long day of work where you were so productive and you're crushing it right personally i love edutainment right i love infotainment right whereby i'm reading these books and exploring these ideas and being able to share them with more people as i'm exploring them deeper myself and learning more and learning how to optimize my own life right at the end of the day edutainment is what i value because i'm saying that like you know, people are like, oh, I have to read a book. It's going to be boring. It's going to be sucky. I don't want to do that. I'm really bad at reading books. But maybe you just didn't pick up a book that resonates with you. Maybe you didn't pick up a book that truly 
is the right book for you at this moment of your life, right? So it really comes down to having something in front of you that you're consuming that actually elevates your life, right? It's not a distraction again. Is it moving you towards where you want to go, right? I love learning. I love exploring deep ideas. And if you are still watching Netflix, I recommend you check out Gaia TV, okay? I'll link out to an episode about weed below, all right? I'll link out to that. It's a pretty interesting video, all right, on the background of weed. I think you can check it out for free and then you might have to sign up depending on what it is. I'll link out to it below, okay? But check out Gaia TV. It's higher consciousness programming. It's still entertaining, but it is not an escape from reality. It is actually going to improve and sharpen your view on reality, okay, if you do want to watch TV. But at the end of the day, entertainment or education because this dog is none of the above, <laughs> okay? So the fifth thing, that every man should stop doing by the age of 21 is the most insidious destroyer of masculinity in our century is that of refined sugar, okay? Now, I used to identify as someone with a sweet tooth. I used to go through two tubs of Ben and Jerry's ice cream in one sitting after having like French fries and a burger, okay? So that used to be me really engaged in that sugar and loving that sugar and just binging on it right to the point where i eat more sugar than anyone i know or used to eat and now at this point i haven't eaten sugar in more than three months at this point and i can honestly say that it has been a game changer for my mental clarity for my focus for my productivity because sugar is literally hacking this biological machine that you have over here okay it's no coincidence that there's added sugar in almost everything that we eat okay and there's no coincidence that sugar activates the nucleus accumbens in our brain, which is the same thing that activates for cocaine users and drug addicts and alcoholics, okay? It's no surprise that this is something that is generally accepted as normal in our society. It's been given to our kids, right? It's crazy. And we give it to our kids. We give this drug to our kids, but it is the most insidious drug because it's widely accepted. Well, everyone's eating sugar. It's all right, can't be that bad if everyone's doing it, right? But it is no measure of good health to be well adjusted to a profanely sick society. Okay, I don't know who said that quote, but if you are, what does what anyone else is doing have to do with your potential, with your own purpose, personal power, right? Nothing. That's a trap to compare yourself to outside. It's all within and what you are capable of doing. Okay, so stop eating sugar. It's not doing any good. I know it's hard because it's like cocaine. It's really hard to get off. It took me forever. I should eat sugar. Right? I actually eat natural sugar and I satisfy my sweet tooth with that, but refined sugar is not doing you any good. So stop doing it, right? If you have like a Ferrari, you're not gonna start putting like fucking shit gas in it, right? But your body's more important than a freaking Ferrari, man. Your body's the one thing that you have. So treat it with respect, it's your temple, worship it, respect it, and it will respect you back as well, okay? So with that, I conclude this video. Let me know in the comments what has been your one, number one takeaway. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you like it. And I hope you all value from it, okay? This has been Mo, and I'll see you in the next video.